space. Something that's vast, dark, mysterious, and deadly. As of today, the number of deaths of astronauts and cosmonauts is 19, with three of these deaths being above the edge of space. Given the risk of training and getting to space, this number is surprisingly low. What you should know first before I continue is that the human body does not decompose in space like it does here on Earth because there is no oxygen. If the dead body is exposed to cold, it would freeze, or if it's exposed to heat, the body would mummify. In today's video, I'm going to inform you of all the deaths in space and the incidents that caused these in date order. Number one, X-15 flight 365-97, 15th of November, 1967. A US man was flying a plane to peak altitude of 266,000 feet, which is 81,000 meters, to conduct seven experiments at that top level of ascent into airspace. This is above NASA's definition of the start of space, but below the Kamein line. The pilot lost control of the plane due to instrument electrical issues and the plane started plummeting. The plane went into a spin which ended up being corrected by the pilot at 36,000 meters, but then again went into a nosedive and another spin where the airplane started to break apart. The plane started going into a spin once again at Mach 5, which is about 5,300 kilometers before hitting the ground and exploding, killing the pilot instantly. Number two, Soyuz 1, a one day mission. 24th of April 1967. A Russian man died when the Soyuz 1 module descended back to Earth and hit the ground at full impact after the parachute failed to deploy. This mission was plagued with issues from the very beginning, including launch failures, solar panels failing to unfold, and a complete malfunction of the automatic system resulting in manual operation, but even the manual system was only partially working. On descent, the main parachute did not unfold. The cosmonaut deployed the reserve parachute, but it got tangled in the drogue chute. The module hit the ground at 140 kilometers and then went up in flames. The cosmonaut suffered from blunt force trauma and then was burnt to a crisp, resulting in his death. Viewer discretion is advised on the next pictures of the scene of this crash. Number three, the Soyuz 11 mission. 30th of June, 1971, three Russian crew were killed after leaving the space station Salyut 1. After leaving, the cavern vent valve inside the space capsule opened on separation from the space station, causing decompression as they prepared to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Once the capsule landed on Earth, the recovery team opened the doors to find all three crew members dead from suffocation. These three men are the only known humans to have died in space. The flight recorder from one of the astronauts' suits showed that cardiac arrest occurred 40 seconds after pressure was lost. Their autopsies showed that they all suffered 
hemorrhaging in the brain, bleeding under the skin, in ears, nasal cavities, caused from the exposure to the vacuum environment. The picture on the screen shows the recovery team trying to revive them even though it would never have worked due to their extensive injuries. Number four, the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. 28th of January, 1986. Seven American crew members, including five men and two women, boarded the Space Shuttle Challenger for their mission to deploy a communications satellite and study Halley's Comet while in orbit. But 73 seconds into the Challenger's launch, it broke apart and exploded, killing all seven crew on board. The explosion was caused by two redundant O-ring seals failing in the joint of the shuttle's right solid rocker booster. The extremely low atmosphere temperature affected the elasticity of the O-rings so they didn't seal. This allowed pressurized gas to leak and burn through a wall that was backed onto an external fuel tank, causing the explosion. The crew compartment did, however, separate from the explosion and landed in the ocean, but was only recovered three months later in a recovery operation. No one knows for sure if any crew survived the explosion, but if they did, the impact when the cabin hit the water's surface would have been too violent to survive. When the crew was recovered, their bodies were not intact. Body parts had to be pieced back together through forensics. This mission should never have happened as the fatal O-rings issue had not been resolved from an incident that happened in 1977. This has since been improved and crew members now wear pressure suits during ascension. Number five, Space Shuttle Columbia, the 1st of February, 2003. Seven crew members, including six Americans and one Israeli, died as the Columbia disintegrated on re-entry after a two-week mission that conducted a multitude of scientific experiments, including studying atmospheric dust and atmospheric phenomenon. There was damage done to the heat shield on ascension. A piece of insulation foam fell off the external tank and hit the shuttle at takeoff. Because of this, the heat shield was compromised. So on re-entry, the damage spread from the extreme heat, ripped apart the shuttle and disintegrated over Texas. 85,000 pieces had to be recovered over a course of seven months. This only recovered 38% of the shuttle. On NASA's official report, some of the gruesome details of body parts was omitted, but witnesses reported finding a skull, human heart, portions of a torso, and parts of femur bones scattered on the ground. So let me know if you enjoyed these scary facts on deaths in space and if you would like to hear more scary facts because I have quite a repertoire of scary facts uh, out there now written down that um, I definitely want to uh, pursue and make this into a series so if you like this kind of content you know like and subscribe to my channel um, I'm going to be releasing these scary fact videos a lot now um, as well as sort of getting involved in the conspiracy theory sides of things because I love all that sort of stuff like it is it is 
just it's great knowledge to have and you're learning parts of history that I didn't know existed so hopefully you're enjoying this illustration of this 3d astronaut floating through space with a galaxy done in the background I did that with acrylic and gouache and watercolor um, that's well the background where space is is done with acrylic and gouache um, I used my finger as you saw to do all the um, the, the galaxy detailing and all that um, I didn't want to use a paintbrush I tried that at first and I thought I'll bugger it I'm just going to use my finger and I think it worked quite well and then the astronaut is the watercolor part and then I cut him out and uh, put cardboard uh, spaces up underneath him to prop him up so it gives more of a 3d look and uh, yeah that's what I did for this um, to uh, you know portray the devastations of us what space journeys can um, you know can turn out like and hopefully they've improved it enough where this does not happen um, in at all ever again because we've lost so many lives and you know it's it, 19 is just way too many and then then you've got all the um, the facts on people who have died in training um, you know all that there's another level of of deaths when it comes to space exploration um, so this this video was just purely for all the people who have died up in the sky basically so I'll let you watch the rest of this video and see how this illustration pans out and I will see you guys in the next one bye